as I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my son. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Y yeah, sure. I I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. Codsworth, buddy, I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, the Mrs. and young Sean, they're, they're my family, too. Codsworth, are you sure you're holding up okay? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve... I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa, focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this holotape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Cartworth. You're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Picking 
Senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me! What's all this then? out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen, I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving <laughs> and funny, that's right, and patient, so patient, the patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year, but even so, I know our best days are yet to come. There'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. I'm coming, buddy.
boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together.
Hey, up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! We're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit, and I'll gut you myself. Hey. Shut your mouth. I will never get. <laughs> Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Minutemen? 
So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. Uh, that ain't and I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last minute man left standing. I have my own problems, Garvey. <sighs> Maybe? Yeah. Like what? <sighs> nope. You help us? Maybe we can help you. My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up uh, and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Maybe? They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. <sighs> nope. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Got it. Careful, kid. There's 
something coming. And, and it's it's angry. Ma'am. Dog meat sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. So, he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see there's something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Yes. gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. i give you that.
Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. I got my own problems. Well, that much is true. Cause I seen your destiny. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then. Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. We owe you. No. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. Right behind you, boss. I still can't believe he took that thing out. First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead.
Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. O okay. that. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to Sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. tricks well I'll be damned it's the monument to the original Minutemen I knew that was somewhere around Concord that means this right here must be the old North Bridge where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy yeah, I'm I glad don't know you decided to come about, with boss. us I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along pretty nice place she's found for us I think we could settle down here Make it a place to call home. What do you think? So, do you believe in these visions she has? I didn't used to, but how did she know about this place? I think she has some kind of a gift. Best not to ignore it. I mean, look at this place. I really think this could be what we've been looking for. <laughs> this isn't a home. It's nothing but an empty ruin. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. We've got water, plenty of space. Should be pretty defensible. I can see it. Garden plots over there, some snug shelters. Hell, maybe even electricity. <sighs> You'll never rebuild this. Despair is easier, believe me. I know. But I've seen people come together to build a better world. That's what the men and men were all about before it all fell apart. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Minutemen are supposed to be all about. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get.
Mr. Howard, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. No, not now. All right, then. <laughs>